Okay, so we've gotten the airbrush work done on this thing. It's sealed up and it's ready for the next step, which is to start working on the car body and uh, kind of closing in on uh, wrapping this guy up here for the last time. And um, I'm going to show you guys the next step, which is to apply the weathering to the hood of the unit, which is usually my next step at this point, once I've gotten the underbody kind of as I kind of start to wrap this up. We'll put a little grime on the fuel tank and the pilots and everything else, but <coughs> in the uh, first video, I'm going to show the uh, washes that I put on the high hood and this is a good way to um, just put a little bit of grime on the walk on the uh, the hood of the engine and then what you're going to basically do is take most of it off and you're just going to be leaving all the grime in like the um, details like the uh, hood door the seams between the the doors and stuff like that around grills and stuff you'll have the shading and everything that you see where the grime will usually accumulate over time so that's what we're going to be working on. Over here on my paper, I have my acrylic brown and uh, black. And I have a large, uh, large dry Citadel brush. So it's a nice sharp, sharp edge. And this is what I like to use for these. So I just pick up a little bit of brown and a very, very, very small amount of black. Like you don't need that much black. Only a little bit of paint at a time. And you're just going to work this in. So again, just pick up a little bit of paint, and I'm going to start diluting it down in my uh, mixing bowl here with a little bit of water. <laughs> so you get something like that, and then what I'm going to do, if I can try to show this without breaking anything, if I zoom in on a small area of the car body right here, this is a good place, you guys will see this, but I'm going to start applying it and you'll see I'm doing it pretty sloppily right now <clears throat> working down towards the cab around the top of the grill here and again I'm just gonna streak this along. You can see you usually can do this pretty quick. It doesn't take that much time. And it doesn't take, again, that much paint. Uh, don't be too ambitious with this and get a lot of paint. You only need a little bit. Remember, the washes, once they're thinned down, they'll, they'll go a little bit and you can really stretch this out with water. So, don't go too crazy with this if you're going to do this method like I'm doing here. Clean my brush off a little bit, get some of that hair off. Now you can see we've kind of darkened the car body, and we're not going to leave this. What we're going to do now, is I put my brush down, I'm going to take a Q-tip. Yes, remember these, the old handy Q-tip. I'm going to load it up with some water, and basically what I'm going to do is, I'm going to travel down the side of the car body, on the raised portion of the door, <clears throat> and I'm just going to start taking that paint off and just sort of uh, fanning this out. You can see we leave some of that grime behind. And those door panels. And you can still see some of the streaks. Like th Again, this is a really, really kind of a rough goes over, going over of this. Because I want to leave most of that grime behind. So it's just basically a subtle bit of grime. And again on the gray and the stripe. I'm just gonna take most of that off. <clears throat> but again, you can see it's real subtle. But you definitely can notice it. It's just enough. And it's a lot better than just trying to throw a whole bunch of paint on this at one time or taking your airbrush out and just blindly spraying the side of the engine and you build it up too quickly that way. This is real subtle. And so you have complete control of how much grime you can put on. And I've done a lot of locomotives like this and this is the best way I've found to weather the sides of these engines because you can really do this in as many layers as you want and you have complete control. So that's why my hat's off to these uh, wash effects when doing this kind of work on these engines. It just looks a lot better. 
one last little area on the back here. <clears throat> and again, I'm just using the photo reference here as I go along. And this is pretty dirty, so, you know, I'm keeping it prototypical here by following the pictures. Get a little more water. Maybe just a little more yet. There we go. And at the base here, I'll just kind of clean it up a little more. Um, I know it might be kind of hard to see, but do you see at the base how we have all the uh, grime just kind of built up there? I want to keep that because a lot of that engine grease and stuff is going to be seeping out at the bottom of the base of these doors. So I want to keep that, but I want to correct that a little bit because right now it's kind of blotchy. And so I'm just going to take a finer brush like this one here, which is a small Citadel brush. I'm going to load my bristles with water. I'm going to get in here, I'm just going to streak them back up a little bit. That way they look like they're kind of dripping out of the engine compartment. And again, it's just at the base there, so you get those effects. It was very subtle again, though. You can see it looks pretty good doing that way. And of course I'll enhance this with some powders. I'll put a little grease streaking and stuff out of there in a little bit. But that's basically the washes down the car, but you can see it's very subtle, but it's enough to enhance those door panels and everything else around the grills. It's just very nice, very nice. Now I'm going to do the nose and cab real quick. And it's basically the same thing. I'm going to get my uh, brush again. I'll load it up with the acrylic. I'm going to try to do this kind of fast, that way I can show one entire side in one setting. <clears throat> but again, just taking that wash down the side of the battery boxes, the cab sides. I'll hit up the nose a little bit. Very roughly, again. So if you have OCD or something like that, this will drive you crazy, but just bear with it. It'll, it gets better. Again, you just take it off the raised surfaces. And you just leave it on all the cracks and crevices like this. But you can see how that really enhances things. And again, just make sure you're keeping your strokes vertical. Do not go sideways on this. You want them to follow rain streaking patterns where the rain's going to be going down vertically across everything, streaking down. Just finish this battery box door. Again, I'll put some powders on this later, and that'll enhance it a little bit at the base of, like, the shell on the sill. And again, just going to hit up the nose real quick. Just a few quick little streaks. I'm not going to try to take this all off, but... There we go. Again, I'll, I'll bring more detail to these areas as I work up to them. But right now, this is just the base weathering effect for the majority of the car body. So with that being done, we'll go ahead and finish the sill. So, when I get into finer stuff like this, I like to switch to a smaller brush. And so again, my uh, large Citadel brush, which is good for large areas like the top of the car body shell here, that's good for that, but for smaller areas, I'm going to use my small Citadel dry brush. So again, just going to load up the same acrylic mix that I've been using. And dilute it down. Very, really, uh, quite diluted on this mix here. And again, I'm just going to kind of streak this down. I'm going to put a heavier layer of grime on these sills back here. because this is where a lot of that kick up's going to be. I'm just going to go sideways first. I'll clean those up in a second and again just going down the side real fast. This is very diluted so it just kind of flows into all these gaps and everything. And that's the the key with this. Now getting back to this part here. 
we take it down the side of the tank kind of gently work it in there tuck it in under the fuel tank <coughs> carefully put this down if I can Good. and then I'm just gonna finish bringing this down just like this okay, I'm just gonna touch up that tank a little bit continue to work it in a little just a little bit at a time and now that that paint on the sill is kind of set up I'm gonna just go back and start streaking it back down making it look dirty but um you can basically see what that's done we have a nice grime coat on the hood of the engine the fuel tank cab nose everything I'm basically re gonna repeat this step on the roof now in lighter areas uh, but remember most of this is gonna be an exhaust black uh, it's gonna be more of a grimy color uh, so I'm not going to be doing as much of the rust effects on the roof, but this gives you a basic idea of the car body weathering uh, that I'm doing on a unit like this where the paint's in relatively good shape, though it is faded, and you just want to have that little bit of grime in those door panels. This is a good way to model that. So I'm going to repeat this process on the opposite side and on the roof and the pilots. I might show the pilots in the next video, but for now this is what you get, so until the next video I'll be right back.